I would like to demonstrate to you the use of Redo, the ultimate insurance policy for when it does go wrong with the deployment of your SAP changes. Especially with continuous development and continuous integration being actual business requirements, our Redo plugin is a very important enabler in order to introduce continuous integration within your SAP landscape. Now, imagine we have a business critical transaction and as an example, I just created a very simple one, which on our production box seems to work just fine. Now, for the sake of a short demo, I created a transport request which is introducing a business change to that specific transaction. Now, as soon as that business change would be approved and we trigger the deployment into our production system, then we theoretically also risk of breaking that transaction. Now, in this example, we see that the import is running in. Now, technically, the object and the versions, they are all fine. So we actually may introduce a functional error. Now here we go. So the transport was actually also imported into production. Now if I were try to restart this uh, transaction, unfortunately we see that the transaction will be terminating. Now imagine that this example is actually breaking your sales or your inbound process. That would have a tremendous business impact. Now in any typical scenario you would rush out to your development team in order to uh, have a correction being applied immediately or in worst case you would have to go back to your basis administrators in order to start a recovery procedure. Now the good thing is there is a way around it. Now our experts have introduced Redo which is an option to quickly re-establish um, a working transaction. Now Imagine this is the transport that we've just moved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to request a restore of that specific transport. So I request a transport form. Now more details on the use of this plugin um, can definitely be found uh, on another location on our website. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go into the transaction and I trigger the import of the backup transport that we've generated. We click here, trigger import, and here we go. Now, basically what we've done is, what Redo does is before a business object is being overwritten, and there could be a workbench object, there could be a configuration object, there can be basically every single kind of object that we have in SAP, uh, trace and also with the re Redo plugin enabled, allows us to easily perform a rollback. Now, let's quickly verify. Yep, the backup transport was also imported into the system again. If we then go and restart the transaction, we would see everything is again working just fine. And this is actually, this was accomplished without writing any single line of code, without modifying anything in our configuration. So Redo quickly allows you to perform an immediate restore.